Hello everybody, welcome back. Brent here from GBMC Gaming. This is episode 16 of our Technic Let's Play. And today I'm going to be crafting up a couple more cook bricks here. So let's put our bricks like so. As you can see, I did uh, grab a couple bricks and more sand. I actually got the sand legit. I just, I just went over that desert there and started using my destruction catalyst. And my client starts completely out of uh, EMC. So there we go. Here's a stack of coke oven bricks. And let's go downstairs and unveil the changes that I've made. I did add a ladder, as you can can see, just in case I don't uh, I don't get my jetpack working at one point. I did get it working though. But anyways, so this is what I have going here, and this is just iron blocks made into covers, and I made it look like a uh, cool guardrail. But I still jump over it anyways. So, anyways, uh, let's finish up this one here too. As you can see, I did place my coke ovens down, and I will be placing more down here. Oh, look at you, Enderman! How sweet of you! Nice guy, right? <laughs> oh well. Um, and I do have them actually uh, cooking stuff up right now. So I left them going off screen for a little bit, but not too long. And I decided to change what I put in there. I, de I determined that coal is much more effective or inefficient to put in here rather than uh, regular wood. Because you need like three or four wood just to make one kerosote oil. Or creosote, I should say. And... Uh, and there's barely no output, or barely any output, I should say, and it just turns into charcoal. So, with coal, you actually get coal coke, which is just two times better than regular coal, which is awesome. So we're just doubling the efficiency of our coal, as well as getting some creosote oil per two coal. So we'll get 32 out of each stack of coal we get, or we put in there. You can't put charcoal in. I already tried. It doesn't work, so got to stick to regular old coal. Uh, let's organize our inventory here. Almost called it called it in inventory. <laughs> okay, so I'm also gonna have uh, ovens on this level as well. So let's go ahead and build a couple more, I suppose. The more ovens we have, the better. Just put it that way, because I do want to do a lot of railcraft stuff this let's play, and I, I've never done it before, so I want to try it. So there's another oven, sweet, and we have enough. Okay, I just love these ovens. I love the concept of uh, making these things, you know. In previous versions of uh, Buildcraft, it was really, really, really easy to make creosote oil. It was pathetic how easy it was, and I'm so glad they changed it. I'm just going to place these ones down, even if I don't have enough. There we go. And let's go grab some more coal here. As you can see, I have my wicked staircases and stuff. I think this play place turned out pretty good so far, actually. I like it. And uh, no, this whole basement will not be devoted to uh, to those ovens. One more thing I did change between this episode and last, I made six more alchemy chests and I made them all for the different mods, well, six of the different mods, forestry and beekeeping being the same mod, but pretty big uh, difference between the two, I suppose. There's a lot to do with forestry and I just wanted one chest devoted for beekeeping. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and check out this. Ah, forest meadows, hybrid princesses and drones, nice. Uh, let's go ahead and grab those from here, and let's just breed them with each other. Just because I want to get a regular forest one, because I, I noticed last episode that, or watching last episode... Oh, hello! Huh. A common meadows hybrid. A common queen. That is cool. That's the, uh, third, the third breed of, uh, bee there. Wicked. So, yeah, I, I noticed in last episode that I kind of got rid of all my forest drones and, uh, and stuff like that. <laughs> So I have to start breeding them again. And this melon farm's going along just fine, which is nice. We might actually do some industrial craft uh, crossbreeding with the crops. If you don't know what that is, it's uh, pretty cool, actually. You can just, uh, like I said, crossbreed your crops, and it kind of makes no sense to what, why would you uh, crossbreed crops and how would you breed plants, right? But it's actually pretty fun and pretty awesome, actually, because you can turn these... Uh, these plants into many different other plants like you can turn them into different kinds of melon farms and stuff I'm just gonna grab these for the seeds I don't like having a, a full a full farm and then have like two left over but yeah, anyways you can actually have like uh, melon farms that look like the wheat farms and you can just hit them once and you're good and you get a bunch of ones out of them legit melons not the melon slices like actual full melons it's awesome I'm going to go ahead and plant all these back here. And then we're going to go ahead and probably do some more stuff with uh, industrial craft, I think. 
Or maybe even some red power. Hmm. I guess I'll think about it. Um, yeah, I think I will think about it for a little bit. I believe we might do some stuff with, uh, what do you want to call it? Buildcraft, yeah. Uh, I want to get some oil going, but as you can see, there's uh, barely any in my world. So I have to go looking for some more oil. I think I'm going to sleep tonight before I do so. So uh, give me a second here. And I'm dying of, hung oh, dying of hunger as the sun rises. And it's raining, of course. Wait. Oh, I have to invest in something better than these melons. I suppose they work, but not very well. Let's actually also go charge up our uh, electric jetpack, just so we don't run up on the way there. Or the way back, anyways. Because I am going to be using that for the majority of the trip. So. We might actually upgrade our jetpack if we do get uh, some fuel going, but I don't know yet. It's possible. Oh, forgot to put it on. Fail. Okay, so let's go this way, I suppose. We already went to the opposite direction, so let's go this way. I really hope we find at least a bit of oil in this ocean. Because I know it's really common in ocean and deserts, but there's none in the other deserts. It's kind of, kind of crappy. so bad, it's so annoying. Ah, oh, well look at my mini-map, it's insane, it's insane. Like, look at that. Okay, so as you can see, there's a bunch of spawners in there, they're mainly pig men, and stuff like that, but, oh jeez, probably shouldn't be standing at the base of the volcano, I forgot about that. Right. So, even with your jetpack, you can jump about two blocks high, even if you're at a high, high level. Um, okay, maybe not, never mind, I take that back. Um, so there's a nice built staircase there for me. Yeah. There we go. There's a bit of a hover element when you're going down, but not much. Are you kidding me? I really hope that lava doesn't go and like destroy my stuff. Okay, I need a boat and I need some supplies because I need to get in there and get my stuff back. That is super unfortunate. Um, let's get a stick and some. Really, I don't even have my stuff. Like, I don't have anything. No. Oh, man, this sucks. Okay, do I have any extra swords? Yes, I do. Okay. Extra pickaxe. Uh, let's get my rifle. Maybe my boat. No, I don't have any bolts. So, that's okay. Um, let's grab... Let's grab an axe, just in case. And maybe even a fishing rod, just in case we do uh, get stranded over there and need some food. So let's go ahead and grab a bit of wood here, if we can find any. But it doesn't look like we're going to be lucky enough to find any. Oh, wow, I have a chest for it, don't I? There it is. And we have planks here, so... Let's grab ten of those. And we lost our Philosopher's Stone, so we actually have to go back and uh, use a regular old crafting table. But we can use our project table, too, so... Just nice. I'll actually make, uh, make a couple boats. Uh, yeah, four's good. All right. Let's go ahead and get up here. It's gonna be an epic tra uh, trek through the night, or the rain, I should say. Not really the night. Let's go. Right. I can do this, guys. I can do it. I hate dying. 
sucks. I didn't think there was an edge there. That was the stupidest mistake ever. We're so spoiled from having the jetpack on all the time. Alright, I'm gonna try and get over here and I'll meet you guys there, because this is not what we want to be doing this episode. I am glad we found that, uh, that volcano, though, because there's a lot of loot down there. And that inside that volcano, there's a lot of enemies, and it's a big challenge, much more than this thing. But either way, I'll meet you guys over there. Hold on. Alright, here we are, and I'm trying to decide the best way of getting in there. And I haven't really determined the best spot for it yet. I'll just break our boat here. We have plenty extras. Let's get over here, I suppose. Let's get our sword and stuff in our hopper as well. Oh, our ground is over. There. Yeah, I'll put them there so I know how many shots I've left at least. And, yeah, good. Okay, good. Let's actually load up our right here. It looks like there's a red power volcano right here, and then a better dungeons volcano right here. It's pretty interesting. I don't mind the better dungeons one. They're very dangerous and very rewarding when it comes to uh, minerals and loot and whatnot. But they're major, very dangerous indeed. So let's see if I can. Oh, okay. Seeing if I could actually like get into the base of the volcano by doing that, but not gonna happen. That'd be pretty cool though. Having a cave right into the base of it. I wonder if caves actually go through these things or not. Okay. So, how am I gonna get in here? Glad my stuff is somewhat safe anyways. There's no lava trying to get at it. Or going to get at it, I should say. Uh, let's load up our rifle here. Just in case. So that was very stupid of me. Uh, can't get around this lava. Thunder, thunder and lightning out. Perfect. That's what we need. Okay, I'm gonna go around this way, I suppose. Or should I just go dig straight through? I think that's my option. That I'm, gonna choose. I'm gonna dig straight through here and eventually come into the volcano. So I'll meet you guys. You know what? I'm not even going to cut it. Because, uh, might as well make an episode of this. You can actually hear my jetpack going. Here. Okay, let's go. Where's my stuff? 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 These are dwarves, anyways. Uh, there's lots of levels here, as you can see. Lots of levels. Lots of, uh, lots of ore up there. And an epic lag spike yet again. If you crash, I will not be happy. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and come here. Three gold. Let's get organized here first. Maybe even build like a little shelter here. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Have like a little entrance point. I'm gonna build something up here, and if I get attacked, I'll cut back in, but if not, uh, 
I'll just come back when I have some sort of a nice structure type thing built. Give me one minute here. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I actually ran out of cobblestone, but let's look in this chest now. Got a good amount of wheat. That's cool. It's pretty good. Not bad at all, actually, because we will have uh, some food problems here. I looked down here just a minute ago and noticed that there are some enemies. I saw that giant lizard thing there. Yes, that is a... Uh, that would be, my friends, a lava worm. It's a lot of lava worm. And those things are not friendly. And these dwarves ride them. How pleasant. And I also saw some diamonds up there. Cool. Didn't think they actually spawned, but I guess so. Either way, we are going to take this place out. No one shall live here anymore. Nope. Denied. Nope. Haha. Okay, so we have uh, this level basically cleared. And then we have a staircase down. This is a giant spiral, so easy to, like, you know, go around. Oh, look at that. A bit of arrows, iron, and uh, a couple of cookies and a saddle. So let's uh, actually organize our inventory like we said we'd do in a minute ago. Uh, you go over there. This is mainly just my minerals, as you can see. This is all the minerals that I have, I think. Yeah, it is. So look at all that. That is crazy. That's a lot of nickelite too. Believe me, we will not have a uh, enough chest space in the future to actually accommodate for all of our items. That's just how many we're gonna have. So I've never actually fought a lava worm before, so I'm kind of new to this. There's some diamonds easily access accessible there. Lots and lots of lapis, which I've noticed, and lots of gold. So this is a really good place for EMC, and uh, I like it. Looks crazy on the mini map. So let's go ahead and put out, also our ores are going to go in here too, for now. And then this chest is just a bunch of random stuff, so let's put all of the random stuff in here, I suppose. Let's put our jetpack back on also. You might have noticed that sound over there, that like constant jetpack jet pack going. That is uh, just an effect when you fall from a long distance and die with the jetpack still running, like I did. Uh, it'll keep on making that sound until you put your jetpack back on and then fly and activate the sound elsewhere because it can't have two sounds going at once I don't think so look at these diamonds right here perfect I'm not going to complain about that and I don't think you I think you only find one or so in Pervain that goes for pretty much all the inner minerals here which isn't bad I suppose because uh, lapis is worth a good amount of EMC so I'm going to grab that there we go all this easily accessible stuff is very welcome, so I will take any of it that uh, crosses my path. Wow, lots of diamonds. I see one, two, three, and four. Yeah, good place to come if you have a good jetpack, because mine can't go very high. Uh, right, so let's grab this stuff here. Let's actually get rid of this chest here. Just so we know we've already gotten this level and I'll clear it out. I already got the chest and stuff. So, alright. Try and avoid all this lava. It's the best of our abilities, I suppose. Oh, lava dripping on our face. That's cool. Okay, so I need some torches. Let's go ahead and make some here. I think I do have some wood in this, ch in this bag, don't I? No? None. Of course. Oh dear. Okay, um, let's go ahead and I think we can turn this uh, netherrack into cobblestone, which would be pretty cool. There's another thing there, which I might just jump down and grab. Make sure this lava worm isn't on this level. I don't even know what level it's on, to be honest. Okay, let's just get out, get away from that before it uh, decides to spawn something. So you guys, you guys probably can't see very well, I apologize for that, but I'm just trying to run through this thing as, quick, as quickly as possible, without letting anything spawn for the most part, because I don't want that. These things probably aren't easy to fight, so yeah, there's uh, nothing really special here, just a couple chests. Oh, look at that, two clocks, like I need two clocks. <laughs> oh well, why not? They do stack, I didn't know that. I've never actually had two clocks before. I think I've only ever made a legit clock once in Minecraft. 44 arrows, jeez. That's crazy. I said that weird. It's like, 34 arrows. <laughs> oh, goodness. There's some diamonds there. Or a diamond there, I should say. Not diamonds. Let's break this. 
No lava worms yet. Okay, some more gunpowder, more cookies, more gold, and more wheat. That seems like the basic loot that I'm going to find in these places, along with a ton of arrows. If I actually used a bow, it would be helpful, but I'm not. I'm using a musket, which is, yes, still working. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. It's our first dwarf. Fall. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, so I am running this episode extremely long, so I have to uh, cut it out very shortly. Let's actually just break this thing. As you can see, the uh, spawn times in these things are really low, so that's nice. Is he using a pickaxe? Oh, well, I'm sure they do a thousand damage. Two shots per kill. Not bad. It's better than the friggin' skeletons. And there we go. And we got more wheat, more iron, more saddles, more cookies, more clocks, and a fire resistance potion, which could be very useful. Now let's get rid of our fishing rod for now. Don't need it. Cool. Let's actually take it again. Don't want that saddle. It's not worth any EMC, I don't think, so I'm not gonna even gonna take it. Uh, let's get rid of this guy here. There we go. And we got more. Oh, got some torches. Perfect. More wheat. More gunpowder. Chuck this cobble, I guess, and take the torch. Oh, we already have some torches. So. Cool. Let's grab this diamond over here, too, actually. I will be coming back for the rest of these resources. Do not worry. But... Oh, God. Oh, God. I hope they don't spread like regular silverfish. That would kind of suck. Die, you midget. There we go. That was mean. I apologize for any small people out there. I'm sorry. Anyways, so... Oh, look at that. Another potion. Potion of weakness. Actually, you might use that. Oh, wait. No, it's not a splash potion. Don't drink the potions of weakness. Bad idea. Let's grab this chest here. I know we forgot the other one back there, but whatever. Uh, more diamonds. Easily gettable. Gettable, I say. That's nice. Never mind. Not easily gettable. Ow! Ow! Oh my god! 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 It's a giant worm. You guys probably saw that guy, like, right in front of me. And we're like, oh my god, look out! Oh my god, look out! But, yeah. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna go check the time in the video. It's probably like 50 minutes. Hold on. I'm actually super surprised that the video is that short. But, that's just because I cut out a lot. Anyways, uh, yeah, so we're at like 23 minutes. I have to go very shortly for school, but... Don't worry, everybody. School's almost over. And yes, I know you guys are probably in the middle of summer. Like, what the hell are you saying school for, man? You school or homeschooled in the middle of summer or something? No, I am not. It's just I'm recording this while uh, school is just ending. So won't be uploading it for a while. I hope you guys are enjoying the Let's Play. If you are, let me know. But just keep in mind, any suggestions that you make on these early episodes like this, uh, I can't quite take in consideration for the next couple episodes because... Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm going to be recording the next couple of episodes, probably like today, so um, I'm sorry for that. But I will take them in consideration for a possible Season 2, hint, hint, So, and with uh, uh, additional mods. So let's get over to this volcano again. I do have to go. It's 8.07, and as you guys already know, I have to leave by 8.15. And Well, I have to leave the house by like 8.20, but yeah, uh, let's uh, get some boats going, which we forgot to do. And I really hope we get our stuff back again. I'm sure we do. We will. It's not really hard to do. Um, let's get three boats. Just in case, you know. Gotta keep a good stock of them going. There we go. Okay. Got some food. Got our boat. Don't quite need a sword. Our sword will be there with us. And our the place is pretty much cleared all the way down until that spot. Which might be a fight to get my sword back from that... Uh, that lava thing. Woot. I feel so incapable when I don't have my jetpack on. Chicken. More chickens. Didn't even know there's chickens over here, to be honest. Well, I never noticed, but. Move, chicken. No, oh, chicken. Chicken, what are you doing? You don't want my stuff back. Do you don't want me to get my stuff back, do you? <laughs> that made no sense what I just said. What the hell? Okay. That, from a distance, that zombie looked really weird. <laughs> One game I've been playing lately is actually Arma 2 with the DayZ mod. If you guys haven't heard of that, go check it out. It is really cool. Pretty expensive to buy the game though, because you have to buy two, like you have to buy the game and then buy like an expansion pack type thing called uh, Combined. No, uh, 
uh, Operation Arrowhead. But it's really cool. It's like $35 total if you get the package deal. And uh, DayZ is basically just like a zombie apocalypse survival. And it's completely, if you die, you're dead type thing. And it's crazy. Just go check it out. It's really cool. I might, uh, if you guys do want me to do something with it, let me know. It's not easy to record something like that because there's a lot of players that like to kill other players and that, so, yeah. In any case, let's get back to Minecraft, shall we? So, here we are at the volcano, our nice little home right there. Let's crash our boat. Oh, look at that, our boats are on land. I don't think that's actually my boat. That's probably one of those random-ass boats that appear at, like, random spots. Anything in here? More boats. Oh, there's our boat storage. Okay. I seriously have to go shortly. It's 8.09, and I have to get ready. Like, I have to put all my binder together and stuff. Oh, dear. And, uh, yeah. Exams are coming up, so I probably won't be able to do much more recording. But after that, in the summer, I really do think, other than uh, work, but, like, me and Greg are working the summer, so we will be having uh, some time spent towards that, of course. But we will be having lots of videos put out, believe us. Do not worry about that. Expect many. Um, yeah, so we're at 50 subs, which is pretty cool. And we want to thank all you guys for subscribing and commenting on our videos. It's really awesome to have people around the world actually like talk to us and listen to what we have to say and whatnot, you know. All that sappy junk, but there's our stuff. Sweet. And I might uh, cut out here, depending on the video length, I might end it, but I don't know. I might keep it a uh, longer one for you guys, maybe. Tell me what you think. If you, do, you guys do enjoy longer episodes, or do you want me to short, shorten them up a little bit, let me know. I'll keep that in consideration for uh, Season 2, like I said. If there's a Season 2, don't hold me to that, please, because I'm not entirely sure. Um, but this is in 1.1, so if I do make a Season 3, or Season 2, sorry, Season 3, uh, that will be in 1.2.5, which is wicked. Let's grab these spawners. This is probably the giant lava one, isn't it? No? Okay. Good. Let's go ahead and check in these things. Arrows, more clocks. Uh, we got some wheat, gold, and more fire resistance, which is nice. Gotta keep that. Uh, let's get rid of... Keep that on a hot bar as well, actually. Get rid of that. Take that. Okay. Gotta be very cautious here, guys. Very cautious indeed. Lots and lots of minerals. You guys might not be able to see these, but yeah, lots of gold, lots of diamonds, lots of good stuff. Let's grab these spawners just to, oh crap, before I say that. Oh, wow, he has a shield. How pleasant. Okay, so I've got to go. Um, sorry to say. Ow. And I'm going to check the time of the video before I do leave, so let me just knock the spawner off. Check that chest back there. And I gotta go. I know I'm stalling. Uh, weakness, don't want it. Iron, saddle, clock, gold, and a record. The cat. Okay, good. That actually, I think it has an EMC value. Could be wrong about that. Anyways, I'll be right back. Give me a second. And indeed, it is a 38-minute uh, episode. Though. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the short one again. I will try and make them 30 minutes uh, next time. But I just don't want to start a new, or finish it off like a two-minute part later on today. So again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.